Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we are on desktop, so that could be Mac or Windows. And I was going through the videos and I realised that I've done offset on iOS, so iPhone or iPad, but actually not for desktop. So I thought we'd go through it quickly. Now offset can be used on single layer images, it can be used on multi-layer images, it can be used on text as well depending on what you're using it with will depend upon how your offset looks or how successful it is. So I've got a simple snowflake here. If we go to offset, we can create either an inverted offset, which isn't going to work so well on this one because it is so thin, or we can create an outer offset. So let's just go with something like that. We can manually create our offset parameters as well. And I can choose whether to have the corners curved or rectangular. But again, that will depend upon the image or the font. I can then select apply. And that will then create another offset. Now let's say that I wanted the offset to be as it is, but I wanted this to be solid. If I select the offset layer, I can then open up the contour and I could then make that solid. Or of course, I could keep it as it is. Again, if we look at this one, open up the offset. We could try to do an inner and we would create quite an interesting pattern. So we could do something like that. And then if we click on the original layer, we could also create an outer offset as well. Same with this one. If I go to offset, I can create an inner. And then if I select the original layer, I can create an outer. And then I could say, okay, well, I don't want the original layer. And actually, I want to create a slice of this one into the blue one. So then what I could do is draw around and slice. And I've then created a whole new item. So offset is great because it allows you to create extra layers. But then, of course, you can slice and you could weld and you could combine and do all those wonderful things with those extra layers to create something new and different. You can also do offset with layers and you can decide whether you want to do individual layers or the whole item. So at the moment, I've got the entire item selected. So I can go to offset and I can then create an offset for all of those and apply. And I could create something like that, which is nice and close together. I could create something like that which is more bolder, and I could then make the decision as to whether I wanted these cutouts included as they are, or if I go to contour, I could contour it out and have something like that. And then if I wanted to go further with that, I could slice that out if I wanted to, and again, create something a bit different. The other thing I can do is offset the individual layers. So I could come to Christmas and create an offset to that. The problem is, is because of where that Merry is and these, it's all going to look a bit of a mess. So what I could do is come in and ungroup this. And I could move everything up a little bit. And then I could create an offset for this one and then an offset for the diamonds and in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an offset for the merry first and bring that little bit closer in like so and then I'm just going to contour out that half duplicate it 
and then bring these ones back and get rid of that one. Bring these over here, create an offset and then bring these over here and create an offset. And there we go. It's nice and easy and simple to work with. On desktop, you can create inverted or outer offsets. You can then use your other tools to create something a little bit different, a little bit new, and you can have great fun with it. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye!